Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Music Lyrics Explained 12. Uh, today the song is We Three Kings of Orient Are. Okay, this is another Christmas carol, and uh, this is probably the only Christmas carol that's also maybe a hymn that's connected to the religion. Uh, but even, even if you don't know anything about Christianity or anything, this is a very interesting story from a historical perspective. Uh, so, you know, you can find out a little bit more about the religion and about the song and about the history of what this is supposed to be about. Um, all right, but anyway, let's take a look at the note. Uh, this song is about three kings, or they are also referred to as the, you know, the three wise men or the magi. Uh, they are believed to be named uh, Melichior, Casper, and Balthasar. Anyway, I hope I pronounced them right. Uh, and are from what we think today is probably Persia, Syria, or Jordan. They think that's the most likely areas that they were from, even though this is not, this is not known for sure. Persia, of course, is modern-day Iran. Okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, the kings definitely were astrologers. Uh, yes, they definitely had the ability to follow the stars. That's what they were doing. They were following the stars. Uh, and were following a bright star that signified the birth of a foretold king and messiah. Okay. Uh, according to the Jewish scriptures, the messiah was to be born in Bethlehem. So they kind of knew at least the city that they were going to and they were following that star. You know, a little bit like a, uh, an ancient sort of GPS system. <laughs> All right, the Magi, uh, searching for the newborn king, told King Herod. Now, he was a king at that time, you know, of this uh, area of, like, Jerusalem, I guess, where, uh, you know, Bethlehem was. Herod told the Magi to come and inform him at once when they found the child. Okay. Uh, now, of course, uh, he really had other intentions. Uh, however, after the Magi found the uh, the baby, an angel appeared to them and told them not to inform Herod because he planned to kill the child. Yeah, so King Herod, he was probably worried at that time. He probably thought, he was probably imagining he was going to be like a king, a normal king with having an army and probably uh, he was preempting the situation thinking that maybe uh, he was going to build an army and maybe conquer him in the future or his families, his descendants in the future. So he was trying to preempt and get rid of him before time. Okay, and at the same time, I think an angel supposedly appeared to Joseph, which is Jesus' his father, and warned him to get out in time, too. All right, so after King, Henry, uh, King Herod realized the Magi were not going to inform him, he decreed the death of boys two years old or younger. Yes, yeah, supposedly this really happened. Uh, this would be really terrible uh, to have the soldiers go out and kill all boys that were two years old and younger just to try to get rid of Jesus because he couldn't know which one he was. Okay. I remember seeing some movies, of, you know, like where they portrayed this in the movie, the poor mother trying to protect their small child and, you know, the soldiers killing the, the, the mother as well sometimes. Uh, if this really happened, that probably really did happen too. Uh, this was known as the Massacre of the Innocent. So this actually has a real name. Uh, anyway, the gifts given by the Magi were gold to represent the king, child, frankincense to symbolize him being God, and myrrh to represent his future death to save mankind. Okay, anyway, let me, let me kind of cover the... Uh, let me cover it as usual. I'll uh, read it and we'll go over the important category. So this is how it goes. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse afar. All right, uh, we three kings of Orient are. This is a little tricky today because when we hear the Orient today, we usually think of Asia, you know, of uh, China, Korea, Japan. But that's not what they meant at this time in this song because they didn't even know uh, that part of Asia existed. Uh, they were probably referring to Eurasia or Africa or today what we think is more like the Middle East. Okay. Bearing gifts. To bear means to carry or to hold. So they were bringing gifts. They were bearing gifts. We traverse. Traverse means uh, to travel. Uh, to move over across an area. To traverse. Uh, traverse far. Going very far. Field and fountain. 
more on mountain. All right, this is about the trip. They they covered many fields in their in their traveling. Fountain, they probably covered some water, some some streams or lakes or something like that. Uh, more, more meant a large area of highland covered with grass and bushes. So they're going like over mountains where, you know, that might have been good for growing crops, that area. Uh, mountains. Following yonder star. Yeah, so of course they're following the star far away. Remember, yonder is an old word meaning something that is not near. So it's yonder. You still sometimes hear it, but it means like far, like way over there. Following yonder star. Okay. Um, and then it, then it's a, a new one. Uh, oh, star of wonder, star of might, uh, star with royal beauty bright. So star of wonder, the, the star will probably put them in awe. They were probably impressed by it. Supposed to be really beautiful, really stood out in the sky. Might, might, you know, has power, strength. Uh, star of royal beauty, bright. Well, you know, it's supposed to be for the king, so it's royal. Bright, it was a very, very bright star. Uh, westward leading, still proceeding. Westward leading means they're, they're traveling west. They're following the star. Still proceeding means they're, they're still going, they're still moving towards it. Uh, guide us to thy perfect light. All right, so the light, the light of the star, of course. Yeah, born a babe on Bethlehem's plain. All right, a babe meaning a baby on Bethlehem's plain. Plain, a large flat area of land. Okay, gold we bring to crown him again. So these are part of the gifts. That one of the gifts was gold, which would have come in handy because, of course, Mary and Joseph were pretty poor. So it probably helped them a lot at that time. Uh, yes, king forever, ceasing never, over all of us to reign. So king forever, he's going to be king forever. Ceasing means stopping, never stopping. Uh, over all of us to reign. To reign means to rule over all of us. All right, and then they repeat the, the main chorus again, like we three kings of Orient are. And then we get to the last part here. Frankincense to offer have I. So I guess one of the kings, he was giving one of the gifts of frankincense. Uh, yes. Incense owns a deity nigh. Okay. So, uh, yes. Of course, uh, frankincense, you know, that's uh, a substance burned uh, to produce scent in religious ceremonies, of course. So that, again, that was another one of the gifts uh incense a deity a deity of course means a god and nigh means very near okay prayer and praising all men raising so prayer and praising you know to raise men you know raise mankind again uh worship him uh god most high worship him pray for him god most high uh yeah and that's really that's that's pretty much it it's it's amazing story if it if it really happened uh, with the kings following that star. And, of course, I, I always remember, too, even as a kid, listening to the types of gifts they gave to him. And uh, I kind of wondered, what are they, you know, frankincense, myrrh? I was thinking to myself, that's a baby. Why, why don't they have any toys for the baby? <laughs> I remember thinking to myself when I was young. But, of course, these are all very symbolic gifts. And they probably did come in handy to at least uh, Mary and Jesus. Uh, oh, and, and Joseph, basically. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.